What's up guys, welcome to another episode. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about elementary OS. And what we're gonna to need to do here is we're gonna actually install the elementary tweaks. And it says it's for ISIS, but this is actually gonna be for Freya. Uh, elementary OS changed their name due to the obviously the conflicts that's happening in the Middle East. So I'm gonna have a link for the description underneath so you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to take you to this website and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this through the Ubuntu Software Center the reason is it's a little more visual and you can kind of understand for those new people out there of kind of what's going on so what we need to do first is we're going to add, actually add software sources to our source list so that when we install it it's going to know where to install it from so first thing you're going to do is let's go ahead and open up this software center if you do not have the software center installed, you can uh, check in the description and I'll have a terminal code where it'll just open up your terminal, you'll copy and paste the command and it'll install it for you. Okay, once you have it opened, you're gonna go ahead and to the edit tab, go down to software sources, go to other software tab, and you're gonna notice here, there's gonna be a list of stuff. Your list might be a little bit shorter, might be a little longer, depending on what you've done with your computer so far. And in here, what this, all this stuff is, this lets our computer know where to find the programs. So you see that inside the software center, there's all these type of programs. This is the information on where they're getting it from. So we need to come to this web page, and we need to go in here, and we need to click this little uh, arrow right here with the green words, and you need to copy and paste the first one. So we're going to do both of these. Now what this is for, this is saying it's for Trusty, which is going to be 14.04 as well as 14.10. If you have uh, Elementary Luna installed, you're going to go ahead and need to look for that. It's, uh, you can Google that, it's very easy to do. Or I'll probably just throw a link in the description for you guys as well. So we'll go back into the software area. So you see, well, let's open up both of them. And I'm going to click on the Add. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. I already have mine pasted in, but you're just going to click Add Source and then go ahead and type in your password. We're gonna come back over here. Go ahead and copy the next one. Go back over here, add the next one, copy and paste it, add the source. It should not ask you for your password for the second one. Then you're gonna go ahead and click the close button. Once you click the close button, you're gonna wait for a few seconds and you should have your progress should kick in. And if you click on it, you're gonna notice that all it's doing is updating your source list for you. So once that is finished up, you can go ahead and close the uh, close the Ubuntu Software Center. Go ahead and open up your terminal and type in sudo apt get elementary dash tweaks. I will have this code written in the description as well to make it easy and you can copy and paste that. You're just gonna press enter Oops. Oh, sudo apt get install. I forgot the kind of a key ingredient there. So as you're gonna see right there, um, I already have mine installed. So yours is gonna install, it should only take a few seconds. Go ahead and minimize that. Now to find it, you just go to applications, go down to your system tools, and go to settings. Now if your application menu is set up like this, you just wanna scroll over probably to the third page and you should find it. Everything is in alphabetical order. Click System Settings. Now in the very top where it says Personal, you're gonna see the word Tweaks. Click on that, and he from here you're gonna be able to manipulate all your, um, pretty much your desktop environment. So the top one is gonna be your parents. This is where you're gonna be able to change your theme. So I have a bunch of themes here installed. Uh, your icon pack, which you're gonna see, like I have a different icon pack than probably you do if you have a fresh installation. Your cursor things and so on. Your window controls, if you'd like your buttons like Windows does, uh, if you like them like OS X on the other side, so on like that. Otherwise you're gonna have it set up like this. This is the standard default for elementary OS. Now we will go down to fonts. You can change all your fonts. Like I have a different font right here on the very top of my bar. That's because I've changed it right here on my title bar font. Animations, as so how slow things work. Your shadows, as you can see around the box of this window right here, there's a shadow. That's how you work with that. Miscellaneous, if you want your audio bell, which comes as your notification right here. Your plank, it's going to be, you get a lot more customizations for your plank. It's going to be in here. So if you want to lock it, custom your icon size as well. So I can change that as you can see. 
um, how you want to hide it, how you want your alignment, do you want it to the right, uh, do you want it to the left, and I notice that everything is kind of backwards in the way I would assume what the right and left is. So that's how that works. Come down to your files, kind of uh, how you date, how everything changes there. Slingshot, you can leave that as it is. Um, this from here, you don't want to really mess with this. Uh, I'll do this in another video, and we'll come back to this one. We want to actually go ahead and remove plank and replace a different dock. This is where we'll come in here. We'll have to remove this section right here. And the terminal, how much you want to adjust your opacity. Now the terminal I have installed here is not the terminal that you normally get from elementary OS. That terminal is this one right here. So do take that into consideration with the one I am showing. And that's about it when it comes to the elementary tweaks for Freya. Now a majority of you guys will probably just need to know how to install it as you've worked it before. But for all of you guys that are trying out elementary OS Freya or any, or any elementary OS uh, varieties for that matter, uh, here's a little just a video for you guys to kind of understand what you're doing when you get it installed. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.